Hi there, so what I'm doing today is showing you how I build up a character in Adobe Illustrator um, using a combination of the pen and the pencil tool. So here I'm drawing it uh, mainly freehand with the pencil tool um, and building it up uh, point by point um, underneath the sketch of the character. So the sketch is in a layer above it. You can see that over on the right hand side. Um, it's in a layer with a multiplier transparency so I can work underneath it and see what's going on. So here I'm building it up uh, bit by bit, laying down the shapes in different colors. Um, these aren't the final colors. This is just um, there to differentiate the different shapes. You see there when I take away the pencil sketch that it, it looks pretty wonky, pr pretty rough. Um, there I've just used the Pathfinder tool to take some shapes away. And here there's a lot of tweaking that goes on. So I don't normally work this fast. I, I wish I could, um, but I thought I'd um, speed it up for the sake of the video. Here I'm choosing the hair, choosing the colours of the jeans. Um, you can see I go through a lot of different colours. Can't quite, quite get the contrast between the blue and the red. I think I then uh, settle on a brown, but I'm still not happy with the brown. And then I thought I'd uh, make the shoes into white trainers, so I've put a little circle underneath there to um, help the trainers stand out on a white background. Um, so lots of tweaking going on there with the direct selection tool, um, just tweaking points by points. There what I've done is I wasn't happy with that brown on those trousers and I knew I had a brown that I liked in a previous character. Um, so I just uh, used the little colour picker tool to take that. Um, here I'm building up the face, so building up tiny little elements um, using the paintbrush tool to add the face elements, give it a sort of more hand-drawn look, but again, still tweaking it to get it exactly the way I want it. Um, that's a custom brush, a calligraphic brush um, that has a nice sort of natural feel to it. And you can see I'm starting to add more little details, but it still looks quite flat. Um, just repositioning the facial elements. So it's, I'm happy with it. And then to make it a little bit more 3D, um, what I've done is add a shadow on the left-hand side there. Um, I think I deleted that first one and then did a new one. Um, but this is a mask, so I've combined all those, um, the shapes of the face, uh, and then added that as a mask over the top of the shadow. Um, there what I did was add a little bit of highlight to the hair as well, just to make that stand out. And here I'm adding little elements to the t-shirt just to uh, add a little bit more detail, make it a little bit more interesting. So a nice big blue stripe across him and then highlights on the uh, end of his sleeves on the end of his t-shirt just to pick those out. Um, you can see as I'm doing it, I'm, I'm still not entirely happy with all the little shapes, so especially with the hands. So there's a lot of tweaking that goes on there, um, a bit of painting there to uh, the paintbrush tool to uh, make the palm of the hand, then the pocket detail, and then more shadows. So here you can see I'm building up a mask to add the 3D elements. Um, I use shortcuts sometimes, but I don't think I can, uh, I don't think my brain can fit all the shortcuts in at the same time. So I do uh, quite often use the point and click the toolbar selection as well. But yeah, I do use little shortcuts on the keyboard to make it faster. So um, the shortcut for the, the mask um, makes it quite quick. Um, adding a few laces, a few little details. You see there, I've shrunk the size of that down, um, make it more interesting, um, just trying out different laces there. And then uh, last of all, I'm just adding a few little white highlights just to add a little bit of gloss to him. And then I think I'm fairly happy with him. Uh, no, I changed the color of the t-shirt. I wasn't happy with the blue. I wanted to make him stand out a little bit more. So this is for a kid's book. So I wanted to make him nice and bright and colorful. And then I've just turned the other characters back on, the ones that I made earlier, just to have a look at how the page is looking all together, make sure the colors are all working together and just see the the page as a whole. So thanks for watching. Hope you found that interesting. And if you have any questions, if I've passed over anything too quickly, which I probably have done, um, please just feel free to ask below in the comments. Okay, see you next time.